got. Tell me about these old humans, Mr. Hill. The old humans? When you say old humans, are you talking about people throughout the world? Or yeah. What? The Bible says the world is passing away and so is its desires. But he that does the will of God will live forever. The whole world is under the control or influence of Satan the devil. He is referred to in the book of the, of, uh, the Bible, in the book of Matthew, says the whole world is lying in the power of the wicked one. And that wicked one is Satan, the devil. And his desire is to turn everyone away from serving, knowing, understanding the God of the universe, Jehovah. And he has many ways and means in which he carries that out. He does so by influencing people. Influence them to do what he wants them to do, which all, of course, you realize is always bad. Because like I told you before, Satan doesn't make us do anything, but he influences us to do wrong. See? This has always been right from the time when Adam was in Adam and Eve was in the Garden of Eden. He influenced Adam to turn away from God. He influenced Eve to turn away. And so what happened? Both of them both Adam and Eve, the very first two humans to live upon the earth, they will not come back in the resurrection after they died. See, some people think that they're gonna. They're burning in hellfire. Keep the hell the fires burning. I'm sorry. The scripture says, "He that sinneth, it's gonna be, be destroyed. It's gonna die. The soul that sinneth, it'll die. No question about it." It didn't say term uh, to, to to be tormented forever and ever and ever and ever. And that's what many churches are teaching. That if you're bad, you're going to this fiery place and you will burn in agony for infinity or ever. Now think about it. Why would a loving God have someone be in agony forever. He put it very simply when he said, the soul that sinneth, it'll die, and that's it. Gone, over with, through, no more. And which I tell people like Adam and Eve today, they are dust. They came from the dust, because they did not remain faithful, they went back to the dust. There's no scripture in the Bible say, says that Adam went to some fiery torment or Eve went into the, some fiery torment. But he did say that from dust you are, Jehovah told Adam, 
To dust you are, to dust you will return. So you and I are all really are from the ground or dust. The thing with you and I, we have an opportunity, even if we do die, we have an opportunity because of Jesus as a ransomer to come back and live again on the earth. And we have a chance to live forever. Some people say that when they die, they're going to go to heaven. Well, I don't misunderstand. The Bible does speak of some going to heaven. But they are a select few. The Bible speaks of the number of 144,000 that's going to go to heaven. I've been doing this work for over 60 years, right? No, I will not go to heaven. If I'm faithful to Jehovah and I die, I can come back in the resurrection and live on the earth forever, as long as I stay faithful in my service to Him. But a lot of people think they're going to heaven. When people make that statement, they will go to heaven, I like asking this one question to them. What are you going to do when you get there? And of course, they don't have a slightest idea. Some say they're going to walk around heaven. Well, that means you have legs. <laughs> they're spirits. You know, they can move around extremely fast all over the heavens. They don't have feet and arms and legs as you and I. They have a spiritual body, yes. But they don't have no feet like we have that we can walk and, and mouth and talk like we have. But they are spirit creatures. Powerful? Yes. Unquestionably power. Powerful. And of course, just like Satan the devil and his demons, they have power. But one day in the future, at the end of the thousand years, as the book of Revelation helps us to appreciate, Satan the devil is, will be coming out of the abyss. That was my hearing aid. He's be coming out of the abyss and he is going to be let loose for a little while to mislead the people. In the book of Revelation, this, this thought is brought out very clearly. Trying to turn all of us away from serving Jehovah. But he will not be able to turn everybody away. And then he is going to be destroyed for infinity or forever. He will no longer exist. Him and his demons will be destroyed. The people who will remain faithful to Jehovah, they will have an opportunity to live forever and bring the earth back into paradise the way Jehovah intended it in the very beginning. Now when that is, no, we don't know. The Bible speaks us speaks of us living in the last days. How close we are to the end or how close we are to Armageddon, we don't know. But we're close. The thing is for you and I to keep on reading, study, keep on holding close and our desire to serve and to do God's will so that we would be able to, even if we die, come back in the resurrection and have an opportunity to live for infinity or forever. But the key thing is we've got to 
follow the steps of Jesus. Now, what did Jesus do for three and a half years? What he did for those three and a half years is that everyone who says that they are, uh, they are a Christian should do. After Jesus was baptized, after going into the wilderness, coming out for three and a half years, he set an outstanding example for everyone who says they are a Christian. The word Christian means Christ-like. So.